Hey guys, it's Chris with Shell Fitness. Today we're going to teach you skeletal anatomy. So the skeleton, 206 bones, and we're going to learn about the different divisions, the axial and appendicular. We're going to start out with the axial skeleton, and there's 80 bones, starting with the skull. We have 8 bones in the skull. We have the front part, the frontal lobe. We have the back part, which is the occipital, that's 2. We have the temporal, which is 2 on each side, 1 on each side, that's now we're at 4. Periidal, two more, we're at six. And then we have the mandible, which is the bottom portion of the jaw and the maxilla. Those are your eight bones of the cranium. So that's part of the axial. Looking at the spinal column, 33 total bones beginning at the top, which is referred to as the most uh, superior. We're gonna have seven cervical bones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Of which C1 and C2, those are fused together. Decent amount of mobility in the neck, but you got to be careful. You don't want to pinch one of these nerves. Then we get into the middle region, which is the thoracic, T1 through T12. This, this part of the back should be nice and mobile. Your lats are going to be right onto the lateral sides of those. Then we get to the lower region, which are going to be your lumbar, five of those bones. So we got 7 plus 12 plus 5, which is going to be... 30, uh, 24, and then we have nine fused bones in the coccyx and the sacrum. So the there's nine bones down here. So again, we have C1 through C7, T1 through T12, L1 through L5, and then nine in the sacrum and then the coccyx. Moving on to the anterior side, we have more axial bones. We have the sternum, which is your breast bone. We have the ribs, of which there are 12 pair, 24 total. You see these two right here, they're false. They call these false ribs because they don't insert anywhere. So those are protecting on the, on the posterior side like your, your kidneys. The ribs, they protect our organs, our vital organs. That's the purpose of the skeletal system is protection and structure for the body. We got our lungs, we got our liver, we're going to have our pancreas on the, on the left side, spleen, a lot of important vital organs in there. Well, the back side, the posterior, we got the kidneys. From there, the axial, we're going to get into the pelvis right here. So we're going to now transfer over into the appendicular, which is going to be lower limb stuff first. So we have the pelvis, which is the ischial, ischium, and the pubis. Each one works kind of interdependently. The biggest bone in the human body, that's the femur. And then we're going to start getting into the lower limb anatomy. You're going to have a free-floating bone, the kneecap, which is called your patella. Then we have the tibia on the medial side, which is on the inside. And then you have the fibula on the lateral side. The fibula is a non-weight-bearing bone. We don't really need it, but it's there. Then we can get into the most distal part, where we're going to have the tarsals, seven bones in the tarsals. Then we have the metatarsals. And then last but not least, you have the phalanges, spelled P-H-A-L-A-N-G-E-S. So we're going to work our way back up and then get into the arms. So the most distal bones of the, of the human body on the lower inferior region, phalanges, metatarsals, tarsals, seven bones there. Tibia is the big lower shank bone, the fibula. The knee joint is going to be the patella, the tibia, and the femur. Working into the hip, which is the pelvis. And now we're going to be up in the shoulder. Here's a shoulder joint slash girdle. We got the bone that kind of floats over the thoracic cavity. That's your scapula. Most broken bone in the human body, your clavicle. And then you have your humerus. The humerus is going to come down into the radia and the radius and the ulna. The lateral thumb side is going to be where your radial artery is, where your radius is. We have eight bones in the hands. These are called your carpals, carpal tunnel syndrome. Of pain in the wrist area. Carpals, metacarpals, and then phalange. 27 bones in each hand. Over 50% of the bones in the human body in your hands and your feet. Biggest bone in the human body, as I said, femur. Smallest, you're going to go here to the ear, incus, malus, and stapes. There's two subdivisions of the skeleton. Axial, 80 bones. Appendicular, 126. The smallest unit of the bones Osteon. You've probably heard of osteoporosis. The smallest unit is the osteon. There's our 206 bones. 